Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to start a new tutorial series in which we will learn about Swift and iOS in detail. So let's start. So first I will come to this, um, I'll click on command and space and search for Xcode and now I'll click enter. So Xcode will open. You have to install this on your Macbook from Apple App Store which is this one and now I'll click on create new project now here you can select between multi-platform so that will uh, create the app for uh, uh, Mac OS and iOS and uh, multi-platforms and uh, but we target iOS so we will select this iOS and uh, you can select between these different apps but we will select only app and now I'll click next and here you can give your application name and uh, here you can give your uh, package name or your identifier name um, from here you can uh, select between interfaces if you want to create it in uh, Swift UI you can select Swift UI and for storyboard you can select this storyboard and you can select between uh, Swift and Objective C we will select Swift and now I'll uh, give the application a name as button demo and uh, I'll click next and it will show this uh, uh, and you can uh, select the uh, folder where you want to create your project so I'll select this uh, documents and click create now the project is created so we will uh, uh, discuss this property file file in a later session as well as we will discuss this app delegate and scene delegate uh, in a later session but and uh, this app delegate is the entry point of this app for now we will discuss this view controller which is our uh, code file and this main activity man dot storyboard which is our uh, interface file so we will create the interface here so let me expand this uh, and this as well so this is the navigator and this navigator you can navigate between the files and this is the um, inspector and in this uh, inspector you can uh, navigate between different uh, inspectors so first uh, uh, we will drag in a button onto this interface so for that we will go to this uh, plus sign which is the library button and now you can see different controls here so I'll select this button and I will drag, drag it to the device now I'll paste uh, leave it here and now I'll increase its size and now I'll drag it to the middle now you can switch between these different uh, inspectors from here you can give it a uh, fixed width and a height so I'll give it a width of uh, uh, 250 and a height of uh, uh, 50 and this is the attribute inspector so from here you can change the text on the button and I will ch change the text to click uh, me and you can also change uh, and the style of the button so I'll change the style to tinted or I will change it to gray so uh, now we have created this gray button now you can uh, use these different uh, attributes on this button now we will um, uh, use uh, auto layouts on this button so I'll uh, use uh, it uh, uh, from top we'll give it that and from this side uh, I'll give you it uh, 70 and 70 from this side and uh, I'll add three constraint now you can see that the uh, 
button expanded as well as uh, shrinked so I'll come here and uh, make this uh, height as uh, 50 and click add constraint now you can see a button of 50 uh, is created now I'll come to click on this button and come to this attribute inspector and change the text on this button click me and now I'll click here so click me is uh, shown on this button now we all click on this split add editor on the right so I have uh, created now two uh, buttons add uh, two uh, editors now I'll uh, click on this view controller so that it show uh, view controller in one and I'll click on this and I'll click on Mender storyboard so that uh, show Mender storyboard here now I'll click on this and um, I'll close uh, this navigator as well as this uh, inspector to create some space now I'll uh, click this button and now I'll click and drag from this button onto this uh, code file and now here um, I'll select uh, action you can select between outlets and action but per button we create action and here I'll give, give it a name click action and now I'll connect now and this click action um, I'll print something so I'll print uh, uh, I am a button and clicked now um, I'll uh, get a uh, iPhone 12 simulator and now I'll run this application now the application is running on the device so if I click on this uh, click me button now you can see I am a button and clicked is shown here now if I again click this it will show this again so that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.